Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you the difference between a tapered extrusion and the draft operation. In both cases, we can prepare a model with slanted faces, but these two commands are very different from one another. Before we start, just a quick note. You'll find links to my free CAD mini courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now, let's get started. I will switch to FreeCAD and show you the difference between a tapered pad and the draft operation. I'll create a new project and a sample sketch. I'll draw a rectangular base. The dimensions aren't important. I'm just creating the base here. Now I'll create another sketch and draw a rectangle there as well. Okay, we have the sketch, and now I'll create a tapered extrusion. I select the pad operation. I specify the length of the extrusion, for example, 30 millimeters. Here we have the taper angle parameter. We can create an outward taper or an inward taper. And then we click OK. That is how we created a tapered extrusion. However, in this case, the extrusion was created so that all the faces are angled, including the side faces. The angle was simply applied to all the faces. If you want to draft only specific faces, that is where the draft operation comes in handy. This operation allows you to angle only selected faces. I'll create another sketch. I'll do it just like in the previous case. Okay, I'm adding an extrusion of 30 millimeters. Now I want to angle just these two faces. To do this, we select the draft operation. Now we need to indicate the neutral plane. If I select this face as the neutral plane, and then select this face and this face to be drafted, okay, and I change the angle to 5 degrees here, the dimension of this face remains unchanged, the width of this face stayed the same, and this part of the solid at the bottom was simply widened. Here, it was done a bit differently. The entire extrusion tapered upwards. If we want to achieve a similar effect with the draft operation as we did with the tapered pad, we need to choose a different neutral plane. I click this button here and select this plane as the neutral plane. Now these two side faces have been drafted and the top face has narrowed slightly. We click OK and this is the result. That is what it looks like. Here all the faces are angled, whereas with the draft operation only the faces we selected are angled. The draft operation can be very useful in certain cases because sometimes we want to create a tapered shape but don't want to angle every single face. This also applies to pockets, of course. If we create a pocket, I'll create a sketch on this face with arbitrary dimensions here. Okay, and then select the pocket operation. Here too we have the option to enter an angle and create a pocket with angled faces. However, if we only want to draft specific faces, we create the pocket first. OK, and then we select the draft operation. Next, we select the neutral plane. It can be this plane. Then we select the faces to draft. For example, we'll draft just these two faces. And here we specify the draft angle. So, as you can see, the draft operation can be very useful in certain situations. That was a short lesson, a quick tip. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I also encourage you to subscribe to this channel.